The goal today is to keep everybody happy. There. Uh, I have worked with people on the street long enough to know that they have so many things taken away from them that I try to give back as much as I can. I couldn't sneak one or two of y'all in. Like I started writing poetry when I was in fifth grade. And, and then I went, I began, I started to get more, more serious about it. And then my life just fell apart and I stopped writing entirely. And then when I started writing for the Challenger, I started writing poetry again. And since three people are so silenced and not heard and ignored, and we got our blinders on, I see light in everyone, and I blow on the light, and it burns brighter. And um, they get to see that they are a real human being. Like when you get up in the morning, you don't have to, you don't have to wait for people to disappear to go to the bathroom because I live outside, it's kind of a pain. Or you have access to hygiene facilities. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, it really makes life a drag, if you know what I mean. Like I'm dealing with addiction. I'm d addicted to smoking cigarettes. And then I'm addicted to smoking these goddamn blunts. And I hate them, I hate this fucking drug, I swear to God. I'm sorry for my French, but I'm really like so sick and tired of this. I have issues with trauma, not merely trauma of family of origin trauma, but abuse. And so I was completely beaten down and demoralized before I came in here. And one of the great things about the Challenger is that it sort of picks you up and dusts you off and makes you feel like you have uh, value as a person. Fine, if I have a room with a roof and a bed and a lamp and a desk and a bathroom, I'll be fine. Yeah.